Hi, I'm Chancellor Agard, and we're live at the 2019 EW Comic Con Video Studio presented by Toyota Corolla with the cast of Arrow. Welcome, Woo! guys. What up? Um, so, obviously, uh, there's no greater con than San Diego Comic Con, and this is your final year here for the show. I guess my first question for you guys is like, what will you miss most about coming here? Bus rides. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you're I like when you're like 800 feet from something, but you have to take a 40 minute trip <laughs> to get there easily. <laughs> That's our bonding moment is on the bus yeah. when we have to yeah. take those 40 minute rides to go 300 feet. You know, I actually we will miss the, the bus most. rides. <laughs> they are our bonding moments. Yeah, those are our moments. I mean, for this final year, I mean, I guess on the other hand, what are you guys most excited about for your panel today? I mean, are you guys looking forward to sort of seeing those fans for one last time or? Yeah, I mean, Katie and I were here in 2012 yeah. in, in, in Ballroom 20, same spot that we are today. And uh, I was at a panel yesterday, and a lot of people that were there to see our first panel are, are going to be there today. That's cool. That part of it's cool. Well, I, well, I was going to ask you guys, I mean, what do you guys remember from that first year coming here, and how, 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 how does that compare to now? <laughs> it's funny. I, we actually talk about this often because the first year we came, Stephen's face was all over everybody's bag, you know, those giant mm -hmm. bags they give away. And... He was just walking down the street, and he was like, "Hey, that's me." Nobody, because the show hadn't aired yet, and people just, I think, looked. At yeah, him no, like I kept walking crazy. Up people, like, hey, <laughs> hey, it's cool bag you got there. You go, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, it's a little different now, um, uh, but yeah. you definitely can't do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I still do. It's just I do it with security. <laughs> yeah. um, I know you guys just started production like last week, right? How's the final season going so far, and a week into it? It's been really great. I mean, everybody, I feel like the first day, it's kind of like the first day in school, every day back, every season. But honestly, after the first day, you, you know, you're sort of back in it in the swing of things. And it's good. It's good to be back. <laughs> and uh, Stephen, I know you posted photos from inside the Queen Mansion, uh, which we haven't seen in several years. What was it like being back on that set? Oh, no, I reposted a photo that someone posted, oh. and I don't know where it's from or what you're talking about. Okay, then. <laughs> Copy uh, that. <laughs> Next question. <Yeah. laughs> um, so we know that Oliver is sort of traveling the world to do what he has to do for the monitor, but I'm curious, what are the rest of you up to while he's uh, doing that this season? Yeah, I think with Renee, I think we're going to um, tease the idea of his be the beginning of his political aspirations and how he became mayor. So I think we'll be able to see some aspects of that. Also, I think we're going to try and kind of outline uh, a bit of a, a strain between him and Zoe. But that's as far as I could go. I can't really get into details, but, um, <laughs> you know, just sort of coming more Laurel coming into her own. Um, I think it'll be really interesting, you know, what version of her this season we're, we're going to see. She's still getting into trouble, and, you know, she's still got that sassiness to her. Looking but... badass, too. Looking badass. Yeah. yeah. It's been it's, it's fun. It's been good. Uh, Dinah is back to being captain at the SCPD, and I think she's trying to just kind of figure out um, where she falls in terms of the team and where the team falls without Oliver. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um, and also just embracing being this version of the canary that she found last last season, where you know she doesn't necessarily have this cry anymore, but she's still coming into her own and still finding herself as like a hero. Yeah. Um, for John Diggle, I don't, I don't know. Is there any place Oliver Queen is that John Diggle isn't? No, the entire first episode is based around the second act of The Notebook. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I remember, David, when we spoke uh, last year for your directorial debut, you, you, um, you said you were looking forward to getting back to those Oliver and Diggle scenes. I'm guessing yeah. will we get some of that to get? Yeah, you will in, in, in large doses. <laughs> in large doses, if if there's ever been a season, this is it. Yep. And Katie, you mentioned how much uh, uh, sort of the multiple versions of Laurel are what version we'll get this season. But I mean, this character has evolved. You played, I guess, two two different characters essentially on the show. What has that been like for you to go from playing sort of Laurel in the first four seasons to this new alternate universe Laurel and it's complicated. Um, I look the writers; they've written really, you know, incredible an incredible arc for me. But then also, um, you know, having her Laurel's uh, doppelganger, Black Siren, uh, bringing me back that version, and then sort of, you know, it's sort of trying to find a balance of uh, what, yeah, exactly, what version of Laurel I'm playing. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, sometimes I get confused and I have to, you know, ask the writers and be like, wait, remind me what, what, what the dynamic is here. But, you know, once they tell me and it just sort of clicks. And with this final season, I mean, I guess, what are you guys, I guess, what are your hopes for this final season? I guess, what do you hope people take away from the show this year? And... I mean, we're just trying to lay it all out. It, uh, the first seven episodes leading into the crossover feel like we're uh, playing our greatest hits, so to speak, um, and alluding to memorable moments in the series. I don't know. I just hope that, I really hope that people enjoy it. It's a different show than you've seen. Um, the episodes, it, it's not as uh, serialized mm -hmm. as, as we've come to expect because we don't have as much time. I don't know, I just hope people enjoy the ride on the last season. It feels a l like a, almost a tribute in a way, yeah. the entire season. And I think, you know, each episode I think is going to be, feel like a miniature movie. Katie's getting ready to direct her first episode, by the way. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know if you were supposed to say that yet, but okay. <laughs> Yes. Katie's getting ready to direct her first episode. <laughs> yes, I am. Live? I am so, so excited. Um, yes. Um, I guess, how did that come about? Uh, has, this, has this been something you've been wanting to do for a while? Or? Uh, yeah, I actually, season one, I, I shadowed um, an episode. And then, you know, throughout the years, I always have wanted to. And I just started, you know, shadowing more, shadowing more. And I recently did the Warner Brothers Director's Program, which was incredible. Um, you know, it was this two-month program. And it was just really awesome being around other people who want to be directors and you know collaboration and creative types and it's going to be fun i can't wait to direct all you <laughs> and, <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's going to be like <laughs> um and finally i mean uh for you guys i mean what will you take away from working on this show for so many years what i guess what will be your fondest memory or thing you've learned during this time that you'll carry with you going forward just connecting with the with this cast and just being able to play Renee and, and, and connect with each character. Um, and as especially for me, walking into something that already had a legacy, mm -hmm. you know, something um, that was grown from the bottom and, and, and created an entire universe, an Arrowverse, you know. So that that's pretty crazy and, and kind of cool just to kind of, you know, walk, you know, to kind of close the doors with, you know, and, 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 and to be a part of. So I'm excited for that. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys for coming by today. Thank you. Uh, everyone remember, Arrow premieres uh, Tuesday, October 15th at 9 p.m. on The CW. And stay tuned to EDW.com for more Comic-Con coverage. Mm -hmm.